This is a piece of seamless copper tube from which I intend to make the boiler for the steam tram, the freelance steam tram. Um, if you're going to make a boiler, I always find the best thing to do to start with is describe four lines along the length of the uh, of the work, marking out the 90 degree points as reference uh, as reference points later on for when you start to mark out for bushes and whatever you're going to do. Uh, and to do that, I think I've shown this before, I'm just using my very homemade uh, gash indexing arrangement of a removable uh, arbour in the end of the lathe spindle and uh, a little detente and a disused gear wheel just to mark out uh, the 90 degree points so it doesn't need to be very deep just lightly touch the tool on the work and uh, just traverse it along you can describe them a bit, a bit better later on All right, I'll do for one and then if we Lift it on, turn it round, bump it back down, and uh, repeat until we've got the four lines. Okay, I mean, this copper tube at the moment is, is longer than the boiler will actually be, but I shan't cut the surplus off until I'm absolutely certain what I'm doing. But uh, we now have a piece of copper tube with four lines scribed down it at 90 degrees which can be the reference points for future setting out um, in terms of bushes and some stuff like that. And I've also put a witness mark in uh, to show where I'm going to uh, Make some cut marks to uh, alter the bottom of the boiler for a firebox arrangement uh, which will become a bit clearer as we progress, I hope. Okay, still in a rough state but hopefully this now conveys the idea with the boiler. Um, it's now sitting down on the frames and underneath about this. Um, where I've split and moved the firebox that sits down between the frames. I've had to make a slot for the large gear wheel. I don't think that will be really an issue because the um, the wicks and the fire tubes are going to be at least an inch up and we'll be well clear of that gear but obviously if there's a heat issue there I'll have to put a guard over it but I don't really think that will be the case. We'll see. Right, got a small kit of parts from which to silver solder up the two burner tubes for the boiler which will hold the wicks. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got a bit of 532nd uh, thimble brass, two little um, pilot holes drilled uh, 30 millimeters apart because that's going to be the center of the tubes. A bit of brass turned up threaded 6BA at one end and an eighth diameter at the other to slip into this uh, tube to seal the end. A couple of end caps for the burners and the two burners with the holes drilled in which the uh, the brass tube will slip. a start on getting some of the boiler bits and pieces together. At the moment I've just been working on the burners. 
I've now made a uh, a sump for the fuel and that is the bottom of the sump a piece of be a piece of silicon tube here to connect and then that will feed into the two uh, two burners that will hold the wicks for the flame should it be necessary when the engine's completed I'm not too sure why it would be but anyway um, it will be possible to completely remove the front axle in its entirety by removing two keeper plates uh, one each side and I have drill through the front wheel sets uh, to enable a screwdriver to go through to access the fixing screws. Um, obviously once the wheel set was out if you needed to do anything to the wheel or whatever you'd have to remove that. You're going to lock tight them on uh, and then pin them but uh, you'd have to remove the wheel sets so for example if you wanted to change the gear but the gears are so wide and things I don't really see them wearing out as such this is not going to get a vast amount of use so uh, I can't quite anyway I've made that provision I've put some spirit in the sump for the uh, the tram engine, the boiler's not soldered together. But what I'm just testing is that the burners will light and continue to burn, i.e., they will wick and continue to burn. I think a lot of the fumes that are coming off are just the uh, dirt and oil on the copper for the machining. At this stage, I've only introduced four fire tubes into the proposed boiler but I think I'm going to add two more actually uh, one each side which actually will help in its uh, manufacture as well as perhaps giving a little bit more draft and heating surface just going to cut off uh Two more pieces of copper tube, approximately 76 mil long, to make two more f fire tubes. I have to say these cheap builders merchant. Copper cutting jobs for plumbing do a very reasonable job. I mean, this is thick walled copper, and uh, nice through butter, really. There we go. Very good. The boiler tube is now cut to length. The inner type fire tubes and the wicks, etc., and the sump are made. The next step is to uh, turn up the various bronze bushes for things like the water gauge, pressure gauge, regulator etc etc to be silver soldered into the boiler when the hole is uh, finally put together. Now although this is a fairly small job in my view it's always a good idea to get as much heat into what you're doing as quickly as possible. So I'm using my largest burner which is going to make an awful racket. Um, but I'll, I'll video it in use and uh, hopefully everything will go well. If it don't, well we'll have to do it all again. I've silver soldered the fire tubes into the boiler bottom plate 
using silver solder with a much higher melting point than Easy Flow number two or whatever they call it these days. Um, and the plan there is I don't really want this lot to go walk about because I'm going to try and solder the rest of the boiler in uh, one brew up if I can. I've made the uh, various bushes for the water gauge, pressure gauge, regulator and uh, safety valve which will go on the top. So the plan now is to, and I've also drilled the various holes in the boiler where I think things ought to go. So the plan now is to put this lot with a fair bit of flux in the shell in order to silver solder the whole lot up. The top of the boiler shell is now pressed in and is fitted fairly tightly over the um, over the flue tubes. This hole will be for the uh, for the safety valve, if I remember rightly. Um, you may remember in a previous video, I just pushed a few rivets through the boiler shell so that the bottom tube plate, which looks remarkably like the top one, can't actually fall all the way through. It just sits on uh, four rivets. They form no function whatsoever, they're in the uh, firebox, they're not in the water area. The plate just sits on it, which will hopefully stop everything falling to bits as we start to solder up. finished silver soldering it seems to have nice rings of uh, silver solder everywhere that you would kind of hope that they would be so I've uh, every confidence actually that it's going to be fine all I need to do now is to make the boiler fittings a job that I hate. Having attached the uh, finished silver soldered boiler and the sump to the frames etc everything still seems to fit and the wheel still turn round so I think I'm going to call that the end of uh, this part of the build Next step will be to make the boiler fittings on the top of the boiler 
and perhaps connect some pipe work to the cylinders put a little bit of spirit in the sump and just check that things uh, work as I hope they will so that will be part 4